Early in the planning process, it became apparent that there would be significant difficulties constructing a 290,000-square-foot city block in a busy downtown intersection surrounding four main streets. Strategic placement of the cranes provided a smooth transition of structural materials to the buildings without any disruption to the surrounding commerce. The city expressed initial apprehensions about driving sheet piles adjacent to their high voltage and antiquated duct banks. It was essential that the city experience no interruption of power flow throughout construction. Procon instituted a pre-construction sheet pile program to ascertain if sheet piling vibrations would have an effect on the city's infrastructure. Modifications were made to the plans, and the construction team proceeded with sheet pile installation. The site's location near the harbor was only two feet above sea level. As a result, water flowed into the area from two places. A strategy was devised for dewatering the site. Sustainable design practices were incorporated in all phases of demolition, construction, and building operations. Before demolition of the Parade Mall, Procon contacted the fire and police departments to see if they would like to utilize the vacant building for training. The police used the building for tactical training maneuvers, and the fire department implemented hands-on emergency rescue and extraction training. The city of Portsmouth tasked Procon with retaining the architectural look of the neighborhood surroundings. Since the hotel, apartments, and garage had to appear as if separate entities, though connected. This was achieved through designing multiple facades. During preliminary site work, numerous unsuitable soils were discovered. A soils disposal company transported the dirty soils to several approved sites out of the city. At any given time, there were 35 to 40 tractor-trailer trucks four times per day, removing soils in tandem. Soils abatement ended up setting the schedule back by six weeks. Multiple subcontractors were hired in selected trades to double up and work concurrently on various sections of the buildings, supplementing the workforce near the project's conclusion. The former site of the ugliest building in the seacoast area is now occupied by a 120-key Hampton Inn & Suites Hotel the 113-unit Aria Luxury Apartments, and the city's first underground parking garage, reinvigorating the downtown Portsmouth landscape.